Gyfeillion. Croeso. Croeso cynnes iawn i chi. I'r ystafell, y splenydd yma yn y gyfnewid falo ac i wobra addysg proffesiynol Cymru 2022. Welcome to the fabulous Coal Exchange and to the Professional Teaching Awards Cymru 2022. My name is Tidir Owen. I will be guiding you through today's ceremony. A little bit of housekeeping before we get started. Fire escapes, if we need to leave the room in a hurry, there are two behind us on either side of the stage, and also there are two behind you uh, in both corners of the room. Please make sure that you vacate the venue and congregate at the front of the building. Also, toilets for all are situated behind these two doors, each side of you behind you over here. So, Danny, I'm going to win a mewn Stale, known for Arbenig Yawn. We're going to get a uh, proceeding started in a very special way. We're going to have a few songs, and I'm going to ask you to give a huge welcome to Cor Ysgol Plas Mawr. Oh, 
Chwych, Ysgol Gyfyn Gymraeg, Plas Mawr, Greithion. Diolch yn fawr. Well, then any ffordd wych o ddechrau'r ceremony prom, and uh, thank you all very much. What a great way to start off today's proceedings. Now then, this is the fifth year uh, that I've been lucky enough to play a part in the Professional Te Teaching Awards Committee, and I am delighted to have been invited back again. From what I've read in the press and on social media ahead of this big day, I know it's going to be, as always, an uplifting and, you'll find out, an emotional experience. Um, mi fyddai'n ymdrechu i siarad yn y ddwy aeth, ond eleni, mae ganddo ni wasanaeth cyfieithu, fydd yn arbed dipyn ar fy Saesneg, gobeithio, gawn ni weld. I will endeavour to use both languages as much as possible today, but we do have this year simultaneous translation available when needed. Uh, now then, you'll find headsets on your tables. Can we just take a few minutes to just check that the system is working, please? So, Stefan, we are there. Gwych. Excellent. I'm going to test you, <coughs> Stefan. I'll, um, <coughs> yes, I'll do this next paragraph in, in Welsh, and we'll see if this works. Rwanta, if you put your headsets on, we'll just double-check that they're working. Fe gynhalwyd y gwobra a ddysgu proffesiynol Cymru am y tro cyntaf yn 2017. Er mwyn dathlu y gora sydd ganddo ni y myd a ddysg Cymru. Ac i gydnabod y gwaith caled a diflino sydd yn mynd ymlaen i greu sylfan cadar, cadarn ar gyfer y dyfodol i blant ar draws ein gwlad. Excellent. Now then, uh, diolch, I'll give you a heads up when we, when we need to put the headsets on. But every single person in this room has contributed something invaluable to the education sector in Wales. Whether or not you are an overall winner today, you should all be extremely proud of yourselves and proud of the knowledge, skills, support and guidance you are giving to our future generations, especially throughout the difficult couple of years we've experienced. Having great teachers is paramount for all pupils, younger or older, um, for their development and the way they feel about being in education. I'd like, if I may, uh, to share my own experience with you, um, because although my academic career came to an end at the age of 16, the influence and continued support of some of my teachers proved invaluable and has inspired me throughout my life. And over the years, I came to realise why these individuals had a lasting impact on not only me, uh, but as it turned out, every pupil lucky enough to find themselves in their classrooms. It was because they were, as you are, simply outstanding professionals, and they possessed all the attributes and skills which we will hear about in these awards today. I'm forever grateful to these teachers who succeeded in making a lasting impression on me, and crucially, didn't allow me to walk out of that school all those years ago without at least adhering to our school motto, which was, in Ysgoluchrad Bodedern, it was Hal i Vedi, which I think loosely translated is, we sow so that we may harvest. Something like that, Stefan. Um, now then, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but last week I was lucky enough to be able to get in touch with two of my teachers whom I know well, and um, I wanted to thank them for the confidence they gave me to make the best of what I had, because I was privileged enough last week to be awarded an honorary degree from Bangor University. It's fair to say they were as gobsmacked as I was. So... <laughs> um, once again, Dioch, thank you for your outstanding work. And I hope I prove that although I was an exceptionally late developer, the shadows you cast are long and genuinely inspiring. Felly, mae o wir yn fraint, unwaith eto, cael bod yma hefoch chi heddiw i gyflwyno'r gwobrau arbennig yma. I'm truly honoured again this year to be present as we recognise some truly inspirational educational professionals hear their stories, and celebrate the commitment they have shown to educating the children of Wales. I ddechra pethau go iawn, dwi am i chi groesawu gwnidog y Gymraeg ac addysg i'r llwyfan. To kick off the proceedings, please welcome to the stage Minister for Education and the Welsh Language, Jeremy Miles.
Well, uh, diolch yn fawr, tydi'r um, y croeso, uh, a croeso i bawb, i um, bumed seremoni'r gwobre uh, addysgu proffesiynol. Uh, yr un gyntaf i fi'n bersonol er mae tydi'r ar ei bumed, uh, rwy'n cael ar ddeall. Uh, a jyst cyn i fi fynd ymellach, rwy eisiau diolch uh, i'r beirniad am i hamser a'i hymroddiad a'i proffesiynol deb, uh, a llai ddim dychmygu. Uh, pam o'r anodd uh, oedd y dasg o'ch blaenau chi, felly diolch o galon i chi uh, am eich gwaith. Ac rwy'n hynod o falch o gael bod yma, ac mae'n bleser cael eich croesawu chi i gyd, uh, ac hefyd y bobl i fencs i wedi bod gyda ni heddi, hyfryd eich gweld chi hefyd yma uh, yn perfformio ac yn cefnogi eich athrawon. Uh, mae cymaint o nghyfnod i fel gwynidog addysg wedi cael ei dreilio yn delio gyda Covid-19, a'r holl heriaeth sydd wedi dod yn sgil hynny. Felly mae'n wych jyst cael bod yma heddi gyda chi wyneb yn wyneb. Uh, a ni'n canolbwyntio heddi ar newyddion da. Uh, y dathlu'r proffesiwn mwyaf anhygoel i fi gael y frant o weithio gyda fe. Uh, ac yng Nghaeiriau, Côr Plas Mawr, glywson ni jyst nawr o ran talent uh, addysgiadol yma yng Nghymru, uh, mae'n cwpa ni wir yn llawn. Ac mae'r lleoliad yma yn wych hefyd, uh, mae'r gyfnwyd fel o wedi chwarae rhan enfawr yn hanes Cardydd, uh, ond Cymru, hanes Cymru, a hefyd hanes y byd. Pan oedd y glo yn rhoi yn i i'r byd, roedd yr adeilad hwn wrth galon y fasnach honno yn gosod pris glo yn fyd eang. Felly mae'r dyddiau hynny wedi mynd erbyn hyn, ond mae gan Gymru lawer i ymfalchu o ynddo fe o hyd, a llawer i ddysgu'r byd hefyd. Uh, yn addas iawn, yn i yma o'n tafliad can, careg o ysgol gynradd uh, Mount Stewart, lle roedd Betty Campbell yn bennaeth, ac rwy mor falch bod aelodau o'i theulu uh, gyda ni yma heddi. Oherwydd heddi am y tro cyntaf, byddwn ni yn cyflwyno gwobr Betty Campbell MBE am hyrwyddo cyfraniadau a safbwyntiau cymunedau D a Saith ac Ethnig Leofrifol. Bydd yn cael ei roi i uh, dim neu ysgol sy wedi dangos ymwybyddiaeth ardderchog o bwysig drwydd addysg gynhwysol uh, fel rhan o gymdeithas sy'n herio ac yn taclo hiliaeth. Mae'r wobr hon yn uh, anrhydeddu Betty Campbell, menyw arbennig iawn, ond mae hefyd yn rhan o'n hymgais ni i wneud cymryd gymdeithas wrth hiliol drwy arddangos a gwobroio rhai sy'n gweithio yn galed i wireddu hynny. Rydyn ni wedi ymrwy mwyn llwyr i sicrhau ysgolion cynhwysol sy'n croesawu pob un disgybl. Uh, I don't need to tell you of the lasting effects and memories of things which we learn in school. Uh, Tidder has shared some of his own experiences and I, like I'm sure every single person in this room, uh, could tell their own personal story uh, of the inspiration and vision and sense of direction that young people can have from inspirational teaching and teachers. And whenever I'm in, on an occasion like this, there are two or three names that come into my mind as people who left an indelible mark, mark, not just on my education, but in truth, on the journey of my life. And I'm sure we will all be able to name the people who play that role in our lives at school. It can help all our young people be confident, be compassionate citizens, and if we do that, we will have done our job well. We know the crucial role that schools and all of you will play in delivering our vision for an inclusive Wales and shaping the kind of society that we want to live in. One that's fair, one that's equal, one that's safe for all of us and which supports each individual to flourish. And looking at the calibre of this year's nominations, I have real hope for the future. Whether you win today or not, uh, know that you are amazing and have much to be proud of. Wales has got so many uh, inspiring education professionals across the whole spectrum of teaching uh, and support, and I have no doubt that we could uh, fill the room with nominees and winners many, many times over. And I've also got no doubt that we can fulfil our ambitions, ambitious plans for education in Wales. We're rolling out our new curriculum, and building an education system that works for today and for tomorrow. 
because education is not just about what happens in the classroom, it's about the classroom itself. So we need an investment programme which is ethical and sustainable, and it's about the communities that we live in. So we need schools that respond to and reflect the communities around them. And it's about you, the teachers, the teaching assistants, the business managers, the youth workers, the support staff. We're investing in you, in your training and development and in your leadership skills. And in these awards, we are recognising the amazing talent that we have in Wales. Our young people deserve an education that helps them to achieve their ambitions. It's not just about exam grades, it's about helping them become curious, confident citizens, not just of Wales, but of the world beyond as well. And we know that a good education is one of the best ways of tackling the effects of poverty, of building a fairer society, not just here, but wherever our young people go. We may not uh, any longer export coal from these shores, but that doesn't mean that Wales no longer has a part to play in the world. We very much do. We can build an education system that is the envy of the world, one that encourages its learners, that builds them up, that inspires them, uh, both when they're young, but as we've just heard from Tidid as well, for the rest of their lives. And I'm determined that what we develop now will help our young people to build that fairer, more equitable world for themselves and for their communities. That is the education system that I want for Wales, one where every single child has the same opportunity, no matter where they're from or where they live or what their background is. And when I look around the room, I am absolutely inspired and encouraged that we will continue to build that better future together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minister. Now then, here we go. Let's move on to the part we're all here for. Uh, I'll just explain a couple of details. I mentioned we have cameras here today. That's because we are filming the awards. The footage will be aired this evening on Education Wales' Facebook channel, I think around six o'clock. Now, this year will run slightly differently. Lunch is going to be served after we've announced all category winners. We hope this will give you time to relax and talk and to all the amazing people here, of course, and to enjoy the delicious food. So this is how the awards are going to work. I will tell you a bit about each category, then read out the names of the finalists. We'll show you a short video about each finalist before announcing the winner. If your name is called, uh, please make, make way to the, to, to the stage to receive your award and to have your photo taken. Uh, you're more than welcome to say a few words if you want to, but Keep it brief, thank you. Um, <laughs> please then return to your seat. I will then ask the finalists to come onto the stage too to receive their mini griff, as we've called them, um, from the minister and have their photo taken. And at the end of the ceremony, uh, we need all the winners, please, to have their picture taken with the minister. So please just don't disappear uh, so that we can get a, a big group shot at the end. Right, let's get going with the first Category, category cantar, at the Athor Bluidin Mount Askolgenrad, Teacher of the Year in a primary school. Kicking off today's ceremony is the award for Teacher of the Year in primary school. This is awarded to an individual that displays the quality of an exceptional primary school teacher. They provide the very best care, compassion, and enthusiasm for teaching. These individuals are excellent role models for the younger generations. And the finalists are Lee Arthur from Llanharan Primary School in Pontaclean, Sean Jones from Ysgolglan Gele in Abergele, and Charmaine Riley from Radir Primary School in Radir. Let's see the videos. I think Lee Arthur deserves the nomination for this award because he has unwavering commitment to the pupils, to the parents and in fact to the whole community here in Llanharan. My son only started at the school in September. On day one he came home and told me that he had a new best friend and that was Mr Arthur. He takes the time to learn about the children, know the children and understand them. He, he's absolutely fantastic. If he sees you sad he'll make you laugh. I think he's the best teacher. 
Sean is an inspirational teacher for us all really and in the classroom it's lovely to see the wonderful relationships that he's built up with not only the children but with the parents as well. The way he is with the children is amazing. He takes his time to really understand them. Any problems that they have, they feel that they can come to him. I think he needs to go on Britain's Got Talent because he's so good at doing stuff. He's the most motivated, enthusiastic, eager to help person that I've ever met, I think. Just how he is every single day, he contributes to our school enormously. Mrs Riley deserves to win Teacher of the Year because she cares about the pupils, the staff, the parents in making sure there's a holistic approach to all that she does. She is innovative in her ideas that she brings to the nursery provision and she ensures that all the children have a wonderful time whenever they come to school. She's my favourite teacher. I love playing with her. She's just a lovely, kind person and will just go the extra mile. And I feel really confident in my son's future when I'm around Mrs Riley. Now the winner has been recognised for their infectious positivity and uplifting presence around the school. They care deeply about inclusive education and continuously goes above and beyond to improve the futures of all their pupils. The winner is Charmaine Riley, Radir Primary School. And Lee and Sean, can I also invite you to individually come up to the stage to receive your award, please, Lee and Sean? Congratulations. Okay. Here we are. I just wanted to say um, it's an absolute honour to receive this award. I feel so lucky that I do a job that I enjoy every single day. Um, I wanted to say thank you to the parents that nominated me because um, it's so important to have the strong relationships that we do have in order to give the children the best opportunities that we can. Um, I'd like to thank the staff at Radley Primary School because they are just such a fantastic team to work with. A very special thanks to our head teacher, Claire Skidmore, who um, vision, her trust and support um, for staff and pupils enables all us staff to give the children the best education possible. Um, and finally, I'd like to thank the wonderful children that I work with. That video was absolutely fantastic. I was angry in tears after. Um, it's just wonderful to um, help them develop into lifelong learners and to make a difference in their lives. And I'm sure you all agree in here. Thank you very much. This is an honor. Wonderful. Congratulations and an excellent example of a brief speech. Thank you. Perfect. Just so you. Now then, on to our next award. Afro Newydd Eithriadol. Uh, outstanding new teacher. Reserved for those in their second or third year of teaching, the award aims to give those who demonstrate enthusiasm and excellent teaching the recognition that they deserve. Although at the start of their careers, these finalists show early leadership qualities and commitments to improving themselves for the benefit of their pupils and their learning. The three finalists are Holly Gordon from Askolbrin Deru ASD Special School in Newport, Ivan Tomos Jenkins from Askol Uchrav Glan Cluid in Zetasaf, Danielle Powell from Pantascathlog Primary School in Merthyr Tidville. Let's see the videos. 
Holly has taken pupils who have had some very difficult and unsuccessful experiences in the past in their education and she has made them love learning and they walk in every day with a smile on their face and they leave every day even happier. When she started the school, it was pretty much as a pandemic hit and at that point she became Geffen's teacher and she just opened his world for us because we were exhausted with how we could open it and how we could expand it. She's just had that much of an impact on our lives and I know that if Brodie could say thank you, he would. Mae Ivan wirioneddol yn angerddol am ei bwnc. Ond dwi'n holi plant beun o'i hoff bynciau o'n ma mathemateg yn digwyd fod yn un o'r pynciau yna sy'n dod i'r brig yn aml gyn plant. Mae o'n ei dygwersi yn hwylus. Mae o'n fel yn neu'n siŵr bod chi'n dal ati. Mae o'n gweithio mor galed, mae gennym o gymaint o frwdfrydedd am y pwnc ac mae ymroddiad o'i waith caled o yn hyd i gael ei gloddfori. Danielle has a real passion for what she does. She uses her humour outstandingly to engage them and she's very passionate about the children succeeding. My child says that having Danielle as a teacher makes him feel happy, makes him want to go to school, it makes him want to learn. I love Miss Powell's lessons because she makes everything fun. She has made a massive impact on my child's education. She brings a breath of fresh air to the school. It's like she's been doing it for 10 years. With the the enthusiasm of a new teacher. This winner is someone that is dedicated to understanding the specific additional learning needs of each pupil she works with. She works with at the only dedicated ASD special school in the EAS region, regional consortia area, a in Darrow. The four to 19 year old school has a wide range of facilities and is committed to helping pupils overcome their individual obstacles to learning and helping them to flourish. The winner of this award was recognized as incredibly valuable to this fantastic school. The winner is Holly Gordon, a in Darrow. Holly, please. And Ivan and Danielle, if I can ask you uh, to invite you to individually come up to the stage to receive your award. Congratulations. Some might need the headsets for this next award. A category nessa, Devnathior Gamraig Mount Morth Sin Aspridoli, Nord a Wapurama, a di Dathli a Thrawan, Nei Weithwir Addis Professional Erais, Sin Guithion Galad i Aspridoli, Paub i Vun Hairiaith Gamraig, Boydun Guithio Druigavrum, Sisneg, and Vuyethog. Nei mewn ysgol Gymraeg, mae'r unigolion sydd wedi dod i'r brig wedi dangos angerdd a chreadigrwydd er mwyn rhannu gyda fawb o'i cwmpas eu cariad tuag at yr iaith Gymraeg a diwylliant Cymru. Dyma'r tri a ddaeth i'r brig. Elizabeth Hamlin, eglwys y dref yr eglwys yng Nghymru a Berdar, Jona Llyr, gwasanaethau addysg a phlant cyngor Sir Gairfyrddin, a Mary Salisbury, a skull croys ati a flint. How many weld a clip here? 
When I think of Liz and Welsh, the words inspirational just spring to mind straight away. We don't even feel like we teach Welsh anymore. It feels it's an intrinsic part of who we are. As soon as you come into school, the children will welcome you in Welsh and it's so ingrained in them. There's some people that say they don't like Welsh because they find it hard, but she does it in a really fun way so everybody gets to participate. She is very enthusiastic about promoting the Welsh language, culture and heritage within our school and her energy is contagious. Well, we now put Yona and Saul breathing on the other disc of the Nerskol Gendra. My Yona and Angerdol am a disc. I could course am a gemrag. My Nespritoli plant. My high divided. My weir Nespritoli plant. Befin Hoffi am Guersi. I Yona body and Roy Kavle i Pau i Gal shouts. I gael profiadau gweddfawr. Dwi i ddim jyst wedi helpu un ysgol, mae wedi helpu yr ysgolion ar draws i'r gyfyrddyn. Byddwn ni byth yn gallu cyflawni'r math yma o i chelgais heb dîm cwpl allweddol fel tîm Iona. Mae'r un berson go arbennig, mae'n gwneud bob dim dros y Gymraeg. Mae hi wedi creu cyngor Cymraeg, hefo rhai o'r plant yn yr ysgol, a maen nhw'n gwneud pethau fel disgo Cymraeg, a pethau fel mae i annog y plant i siarad Cymraeg. Dwi'n ail iaith Gymraeg, a mae'n gwthio ni i jyst i trio rhoi ohyder i ni i siarad Cymraeg o hyd. Mae'n athrawes y bawb yma, mae'n ffrind y bawb yma. Bydd yr ysgol yn ddefnyddio i'n fath heb yn Salisbury. Mae'r enillydd wedi gwneud gwahaniaeth mawr ar draws Sir Gerfyrddin yn ysbrydoli rhieni a phlant i fwynhau yr iaith Gymraeg. Mae hi'n annog pobl i fod yn hyderus, tra'n defnyddio'r Gymraeg oedd i fewn a thu allan i'r ystafell dosbarth. Felly yr enillydd ydy Iona Llyr o wasanaethau addys a phlant cyngor Sir Gerfyrddin. Elizabeth Amari, Elizabeth Amari, you're sky over in the heat. Yes. Sorry to do so, I need to go a couple of areas, my boss. Um, to your galon, if you am Um, when service man, um, go below your life, your plan, he gives, but you go out, you close, you give any other, um, people, um, arthral, uh, and a profession. Um, I went to him, well, I'm going to know your life, yeah. Um, I'm being funny with three hours, all look is, and look is, my daddy truly, I'm running through the pimple and nerve, but I'm so sorry, we weird, weird, and dull, yeah, me. So it's in dull, in honey, I'm in her fry. Um, wrth gwrs ma'n awstere, ond mae dysgu yn swydd gwbl anhygol. Y cyfledd achnath yn ni, y ffenest bach yna, um, i fod yn rhan a dysgol, o, o siwrnau ar ysgol um, plentyn. Um, a mae hwnna'n um, yn fraint, achos ni'n gallu gwneud gwahaniaeth. Dwi'n arbennig o lwcus, mod di'n aelod o dîm. Uh, tîm special iawn, tîm a thrawon dyrdygu'r Gymraeg yn Sir Gar. Um, team am Rothgar, Creadigol a Brwdfrydig sy'n gweithio'n ddiflino i gefnogi'r Gymraeg yn y sir. He bos, cydnabyddiaeth o'r tîm cyfan yw'r wobr hon heddi. Um, le cyn i ddiolch i Catrin, mae Catrin fy'n hyn. Catrin uh, yn rheolwr datblygu'r Gymraeg yn y sir ac yn gymaint yn fwy nac yn rheolwr llinell arnau. Um, mae wastad yno, um, wastad yn gefen a fi mor ffodus o'i chael i yno wrth yn ochr i. A fi'n gwybod bod hwn ddim yn, yn, beth mae pobl yn gweud fel arfer, ond fel ych yn i ddiolch i'r teulu fabulous sy'n gyda fi i aled, i marged, i hywel ac i greta. Um, a mae dyna nabod i'n dda ac am sylfeddoli mor bwysig a cymaint mae'r swydd mae'n golygu i fi. 
Lech yn i fach i'r cyfle i gannu clodydd holl ysgolion gwych y sir. Diolch am y croeso cynnau sy'n i'n cael gyda chi bob amser ar gefnogaeth parhau sy'n i'n cael i'n gwaith ni. Chi werth y byd. Um, ac i gloi, diolch i awdurdod addysg cyngor sir gar. Diolch am eich bydsoddiad yn y Gymraeg ac am weld gwerth yn rôl i'n tîm ni i herwyddo, um, i gefnogi ac i godi safoner Gymraeg. Um, mae'n sir enfawr, um, yn amrywiol ac, um, ac yn gymleth iawn um, yn ieithyddol, um, ond yn sir cwbl odidog i weithio yn ddi. Felly, fi'n brod iawn heddi bod fi ma yn gallu rhoi sir gar a tîm ddyfygu'r Gymraeg ar y map. So, diolch yn fawr iawn i chi fi. Gwych! Llong gyfer chiadau mawr. Right, next is uh, the Supporting Teachers and Learners Award, Cefnogi Athrawon a Dysgwyr. This category is for a member of staff who has provided an outstanding level of support to school staff and their local communities, making a real difference to the education of their pupils. The three finalists are Carolyn Platt from Ysgolbryn Eilian in Colwyn Bay, Jill Sullivan from Maesteg High School in Maesteg, and Ysgol Glan Clwyd support team from Ysgol Uchraf Glan Clwyd in St Asaf. Let's see the videos. Carolyn is just amazing. She's warm, she's supportive, she goes above and beyond. She runs a unit for children with severe learning difficulties. She seamlessly runs that department so that the learners feel that they are part of the school, not a part of an independent unit. During the pandemic, Carolyn came into school every day to ensure that her students had live teaching. She's been a voice for the voiceless, the vulnerable kids. She is a lovely and kind teacher. She's just one of the best teachers. She even got me a place in college. She made that happen and I'm really happy. Her USP is her ability to break down the barriers between home and school, to be able to communicate with parents at any level, to be able to communicate with the pupils at every level. Without her, I wouldn't have figured out what kind of issues I had underlying and I wouldn't have had them sorted out and I wouldn't have had the support either. Even if she um, like been to you with somebody else, she'd always like make time to come and dare you, act if you're okay. Even if school is over, her, her job as a support teacher never actually stops. She just makes an effort for all kids that have a tough time. Every single school needs a Jill Sullivan. I'm Hassan Al Navis, Dweed and Mathal of us in the Neat, and I'm a team, Canal, Manu D, Kabnogi V, Troy Lotta Pathai. I'm known Hoshal, Hoshal amazing. I'm known just in Dowell and Navy Path and the Fess, and Worcester Dark Gaili. The dream Mathal would know Kaladig, Kareskar, and Kabnogal. Ah, Heb no Sunny Methany the Swiss, but I know Heb come off and Galakan. The winner has been recognised because of their outstanding care for the pupils they support. She is a dedicated, caring individual and the judges were particularly impressed with her multi-sensory approach to learning in the classroom. The winner is Carolyn Platt, a sculptor in Alien. say that um, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. I didn't prepare a speech because I didn't think I'd win. I'm just um, overwhelmed. Thank you. But of course, as so many other teachers have said previously, we're not an island. I'm part of a team. And I'd really like to thank all of my team, and in particular, um, Anna McCormack, who is the most amazing, um, Alan Coe in the school, and supports me in everything I just want to try and do. Thank you. Can I invite Jill and members of a Skull Clan Clwyd support team to come up, please? 
Jill, and here we are. Can you come up to have your photos taken? Do you want to make your way down and then we can get to the up and around? Right, the next category, um, Gwaith Yeyengtid Mewn Ysgolion Ar Gymuned, Youth Work in Schools and Community. This next category is awarded to those who have provided outstanding youth work in a school setting. These individuals have had an exceptional impact on the lives of the young people in their schools and the local community, providing the highest level, the levels of care uh, and support to the most vulnerable pupils. So, the finalists for the Youth Work in Schools and the Community Award are Nigel Bowie from Vale of Glamorgan Youth Service, Chris Gledhill from Conway Youth Service, and Christian Williams, Hail the Comprehensive School in Cair Philly. Let's see the videos. Nigel's a very passionate youth worker. He always puts the young people first and everything he does has the young person at the forefront. He just is relentless. He just keeps on and on supporting those children. No matter what the people is suffering with, they will come out of there with a smile on their face. He's just got time for everybody. Without him, I think the children and the school would suffer. Chris and Hynod are worth throwing me a man of school credit. My own, oh, he didn't bother to do the own, can he cover the other one all the square? But the square is the bother of a bar. My need on more hoil. My dad fell. I think Danny does get better, I know it. So then helping him. My own, and Neil, my own, Hossa Lamlug, but I'm going to have a great time of a bubbly bank. My own, my own, we're in a spread dollar. The best thing about Chris is his sense of humour and his resilience. He's not afraid to challenge our young people, take them out of their comfort zones. He genuinely wants the best for them. Well, he helped me with all my work to build up my confidence. Chris started supporting me and like I'm more confident. I used to like, sit in a corner at my desk and not talk or anything. But now I'm sat here doing this. He looks at young people as individual people. If they've got issues outside of the school setting, Chris will try and support that. It isn't just about being here in the Learning Pathway Centre, it's about the whole picture for Chris. This winner, this winner is an individual who can build trusting, kind and strong relationships with their learners. He is known for his great sense of humour and his openness to approaches to learning. The winner is Christian Williams, hail the Comprehensive School. <laughs> wow. Um, yes, I, I didn't think I'd be up here. I, once again, didn't prepare a speech. Um, so I guess I'd just like to say thank you. I mean, the job we've all got is quite difficult, especially what we've been going through lately. But it's made that much easier with the people you've got around you. 
your team and I have a fantastic team. So, uh, yeah, I'd just like to say thank you to all those in the Kefili Youth Service, those in the Heal V LPC, and this is for you guys. Oh, and a big thank you as well to my wife, who I love so much. <laughs> yeah, boy! Nigel and Chris, Nigel and Chris, if I could invite you onto the stage as well, please. Nigel and Chris, if you could come up. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. It's worth noting, no, fo no photo bombing, please. Thank you. Um, now then, we move on. Llongo fe chadda mawr i chi gyd. Um, Athro'r flwyddyn mewn Ysgol Uwchradd. The next award is the Teacher of the Year in a secondary school. This is awarded to a truly exceptional secondary school teacher who is passionate about their subject and an excellent role model for the younger generation. The finalists are Kate Jones from Ysgol Uwchradd Glan Clwyd in St Asaf, Lucy Morgan from Ysgol Aderi in Penarth, and Mark Morgan from Penadrea High School in Merthyr Tidfil. Let's see the video. Bys yn arbennig iawn cet ydi bod un athrawes naturiol wrth yr efd, mae hi'n wir yn rhoi cyfleon a'n hygol i'r disgyblion. Mae hi'n siarad i pob disgybl yn fel, fel unigolyn. Mae hi'n ymestyn ei allyn nhw i llawn potensial nhw. Mae hi'n cario amdano ni, ei hyd yn oed tu allan yn dosbarth hefyd. Dwi'n dweud yn ysbrydoli'r disgyblion, yn ysbrydoli'r athrawon hefyd. Mae pawb di gadael a pawb di mynd i prif ysgol ar ôl ond dal yn siarad am gwersi yeah. Miss Kate yeah. Jones. Lucy very much works to understand what makes those people stick, so that she gets them and they get her. She's almost like a second mum. She feels very human. She's a good figure to look up to and have advice from. She, she dreams the art of the possible all day, and that just shines out of her in everything she does. She just really is incredible, and I, I'd love, when I was in school, I'd love to have had a teacher like her. She just gets it. There's a big sign on the front of the school and it says, aspire, achieve and believe. He lives by that and he stills that into the pupils. I love that passion and that energy about him and how much he, he strives for the pupils and just wants them to excel. He does so much for the school. The way the school looks has changed. In every corridor there's Welsh. As he's inspired me to do my best always. He is the best teacher in Wales. This winner was recognised by the judges for being an outstanding teacher, enthusiastic about getting the very best out of their pupils, something that is reflected in the high results they achieve. The winner is Mark Morgan, Penadrea High School. Well, just to do a deal, come out really. Uh, uh, do it 
ar ôl dod o gyrfa hollol wahanol ond llwyddiannus, um, dwi ddim un sy'n dod yn emosiynol, ond jyst i glywed mil i reu yn siarad yna'r y diwedd i oedd y prif ferch penedrau newydd adael. Um, a dyna fan fi yma, o'n i jyst i eisiau wneud gwahaniaeth, uh, dwi wedi bod yn ffordus mewn ffordd i cael bywyd eithaf llawn, ond i ddod mewn i rhywbeth fel addysg, a wneud gwahaniaeth bob dydd i bob disgybl. Um, a beth sy'n lwcus i fi, really, dwi wedi gweithio mewn ysgol yng nganol merder, a dyna, dyna beth sydd yng nganol yr ysgol, jyst eisiau wneud gwahaniaeth, wneud y plant yn hapus, um, a wneud y gorau glas bob dydd, so diolch yn fawr am hynny. So, Kate and Lucy, if I could invite you up, Kate and Lucy, if you could also come up to the stage. Bych, pan gafach adam awr i chi unwaith eto. Beit, categori nesa, rheolwr busnas ysgol, bwrsar. The next award is for school manager or bursa to celebrate those that display leadership, innovative thinking and excellent management skills in order to get the very best results for their schools. The three finalists are Claire Coakley from St Martin's School in Caerphilly, Honora Rowlands from Christ the Word Catholic School in Rhyl and Sandra Sant from Harden High School in Deeside. Let's see the videos. She brings that vibrancy to her role and that creativity when she's looking for new funding sources or managing school resources in a better way. She's just helped in so many ways around the school with different projects and always coming up with new ideas. She is so good at what she does. She's great fun. She has an open door policy. She's a part of the team. Mrs. Copley is beautiful, knowledgeable, helpful. I can go on and on and on and she's just one in a million. That's the way I would put her. One in a million. She brings drive, she is truly inspirational, she's a great support for myself uh, as head teacher. Without her we, would be, we wouldn't be having like robotics or any Chromebooks or doing online work. She's an absolute inspiration to the staff in terms of her professionalism. This school is in a position to fly now because we've got the resources as, as a result of her Nora's work and her attention to detail. Sandra's very special because she goes over and above what is expected of her in her role. She has daily and multiple contacts with pupils and makes sure that she does everything she possibly can to make their opportunities as good as they can possibly be. About a year ago, Ms. Sant helped us achieve the Healthy Schools Award. I've worked with a couple of school bursars in, in my time in education. And the things that stands out for the most for is, is how pupil-centred she is. The loyalty she gives to this school makes this school and I hope she wins it and it's her turn to buy the cakes. <laughs> This winner has been recognised for their creative approach to management and leadership. She makes an outstanding contribution to her school and is valued for the positive change she has created. The winner is Claire Coakley, St Martin's School. brief. <laughs> um, I'd just like to thank um, Lee Jarvis, the head of 
St Martin's School for having the faith in me to play my part in the development of a wonderful school. Uh, I'd like to thank my colleagues. We are part of a team. That's why I'm standing here. And I'd like to thank my family for the love, kindness and support, um, which I feel I like to pass on to other people, which I've, I think is such an important thing in life. Honora and Sandra, if Honora and Sandra would come up to receive your awards. Right, the money is a penneth of Louisin, Nessa. Next, we have the Head Teacher of the Year Award. For the winner, we were looking for a truly inspiring individual who can lead by example and act as a fantastic role model for their staff and pupils. The finalists have demonstrated their ability to take their schools from strength to strength, engaging with pupils families and the local community, as well as supporting other schools to give pupils the best possible education. So, without further ado, the finalists are Meirig Jones from Ysgol Gyfyn Gymraeg Llan Gynwyd in Maes Teg and Catherine Matthews from Ysgol Gymraeg Cwm Derwen in Caer Philly. Let's see those videos. In our best Agora and Meirig, you a ffordd mae'n gallu arwain arnom a sut mae pawb yn ymddiried ynddo fe a dynnu yn ffyddiog yn ei benderfyniadau. Mae fe wir yn ymfalchio ym mhob llwyddiant, boed yn academaidd, yn mynd chwaraeon ac mae fe wir yn trio anog pawb i ffyndoi ffordd yma yn Ysgol Llangynwyd. Mae Jones am fe cefnogi i troi siarad yn unigol i ddim i ac yn cefnogi ni pryd a dyn yn edrych o dan pwysau. Mae'n gwybod pawb ac mae'n mae wir yn teimlo fel tîm yn yr ysgol, dim dres ysgol. My cath yn ysbrydoli pob unigolyn. Mae'n ysbrydoliaeth mawr yn pob ffordd, boed gwasanaethau, diri, llawn hwyl. Mae'n rhoi cyfleoedd i bob plentyn. A mae'n fysydd ha Matthews yn helpu ni os mae problem, neu os mae rhywun an yn help. Mae'n fysydd Matthews wedi mynd tu hwnnw helpu cae. Mae cath yn tosturiol a creadigol. Mae Mrs Matthews wedi helpu integreiddio o plentyn fi yn yr ysgol. Rydyn ni'n lwcus iawn i cael cath fel pennaeth yn ein ysgol ni. This winner has been selected for the inspiring way in which they have led the schools they have been involved in. They have created an excellent community within the schools and have been outstanding in promoting Welsh medium education. The winner is Milrig Jones, a Skolgov in Gymraeg, Tanganwy. Diolch yn fawr iawn, Bawg. Um, mae yn fraint i gael fod yn bennaeth yr unrhyw ysgol. Um, a I gyd weithio gyda'r ddwy ysgol dwi wedi bod yn gweithio yn agos gyda yn y blynydd o'i dweitha i langynwyd ac i wynllyw. Um, mae'r wobr hon yn cael ei dderbyn ar ei rhan nhw fel y cymuned, y dysgwyr, y staff, rhieni, llywodraethwyr a rhanddeiliad eirill. Dwi'n ddiolchgar am y mudiadau dwi'n rhan ohoni o bas cydag yn gefnogol i fi ar hyd fy nhaith. Back in the 80s, when my parents returned to Wales from Canada, I was a passionate Canadian flag-flying ice hockey baseball player. Moving to Aberdeen, it was a bit of a culture shock. 
but I am always grateful to my parents that fought hard to ensure that as an eight-year-old, I was given Welsh media medication. It is a pity, 40 years later, we are still fighting for Welsh media medication. My angen, cadraddoldeb, yn y ddwyaith. My angen, sicr hai, bod cymwystere ar gael yn y ddwyaith, bod pob rhan ddeiliad yn gweithio gyda'i gilydd i sicr hai mae yna ddewis i unrhyw blentyn, beth bynnag yw hil, iaith y cartre, bod yna gyfleoedd yn nhw'n llwyddo yn y ddwy iaith sy'n gyda ni yn y wlad hon, a dwi'n derbyn hon a rhan pawb heddi. Diolch yn fawr iawn. Catherine, could I ask Catherine to come up to receive your award? Diolch yn fawr. Llon gyfarchiadau mawr y ddau yna chi, geiriau ysbrydoledig yn wir. Reit, y wobr nesa, gwobr y disgybl neu'r disgyblion ar gyfer athro gora. The next award is the Pupils Award. Now this is nominated, as you might expect, by a group of pupils, past or present. These pupils want to celebrate a teacher or other member of staff who has made a huge, long-lasting difference to their life in school and beyond. It's lovely to see some of the pupils here today to celebrate with their teachers. So, the finalists are Julia Adamson from Caddoxon Primary School in Barry, Laura Buffy from Haverford West High School, VC School in Haverford West, and Bethan Howell from Triochi Comprehensive School in Triochi. Let's see the videos. She'll often refer to the, her class as her family and by that she gets to know the children on a personal level and that really inspires the children to want to learn and be successful. Her style of teaching is very, you know, it's laid back but you do still learn quite a lot while well, having like, quite a lot of fun. So it's not just one person, she cares about the whole class or on their future and their teaching. My three kids are all very different in terms of their you know, learning styles. Miss Adamson's worked with all of those kids and brought the best out in each of them. The best thing about Miss Adamson is her teaching. It really inspired me and it made me a better person. One word describe would just be a mother like couldn't get a bit ahead of you or teach her to have. The whole sixth form, it's, it's like we're her own children, like she cares about each and every single one of us so much. Well, Miss Buffy's been running the Presents Under the Tree Christmas project. It's such a nice time to know that you're going to make someone smile. She cares for the children and she believes in them. She just has made me turn into a totally different person, as in want to su succeed and want to do the best I can possibly do. Having that person in school who you know is always going to be there no matter what yeah. is so special, and that's Miss Buffy here. If I could describe Miss Howells in three words, it would be beam of light. She gives up her dinner time for the diversity club. She helps them in any way she can. Miss Howells is such a good teacher because she validates everybody's experience. She supports you no matter what. They trust her and they want to be part of this, this world she's created in our school. Her empathy skills are second to none. She's a real role model for us as a school. She definitely puts a smile on my face and that's how I end up going home so happy. This winner is an individual who goes above and beyond for her learners. She has been a pillar of strength for many of her pupils throughout turbulent personal and academic times in their lives. And this award recognises her outstanding and selfless care. The winner is Laura Buffy, Haverford West High School.
<laughs> I'm shaking. I could do assemblies to thousands of kids, but this is very, very nerve-wracking. And I haven't, just like many other people, I haven't prepared anything. And um, my two head girls are with me today, and if you get a chance to speak to them, they're incredible. And I think our future, um, and the future of this country is in very safe hands with those two, Mr. Miles, so I think you'll be completely fine. Um, <laughs> I'm very, very lucky to do a job that I absolutely adore. I, I wasn't supposed to be a teacher. I went to Cardiff Law School. I wanted to be a barrister. I wanted the money. Um, and then completely changed paths. I had the most incredible teachers in my school in Trugib, in, if any of you know it, in Farvach, near Llandailo. And I've taught in two schools in my career, Olfa in Swansea, and now I'm in a school as well that I absolutely adore, Haverford West High. The pupils are fantastic. They make my job every single day. Um, my father-in-law said to me once, Lord, if you win the lottery, will you give up your job? And I, I, I'm, I'm going to say it here now, I don't think I will. <laughs> I love it, I do, and it's because of pupils exactly like those two sitting there that I love my job so, so much. And I've got an incredible supportive family that helped me in this job because it's a long, it's a long day, isn't it? <laughs> Being in the job that we do, but I'm very grateful. Thank you very, very much. Thanks. Julia and Bethan, would you like to come up to the stage as well, please? Julia and Bethan. Oh, excellent. So inspirational. Um, now then, it's time to announce the finalists for our brand new award for 2022. Gwobber Betty Campbell, MBE, am hyrwyddo cyfraniadau a safbwyntiau cymunedau di a siai a lleafrifoedd ethnic. The Betty Campbell MBE Award for promoting the contributions and perspectives of black, Asian and minority ethnic communities in our education, named of course after Wales's first black head teacher, it recognises those who show an outstanding awareness of diversity and inclusivity. We are delighted that members of Betty Campbell MBE's family could be here today to join in the celebration. This new category for the awards was one of the recommendations from Professor Charlotte Williams working group looking at black, Asian and minority ethnic communities, uh, contribution and Kenevin in the new curriculum. Importantly, the finalists for this award have taken a whole school approach to the promotion of diversity. These schools that have implemented diversity into the curriculum, into the curriculum that lead the way in ensuring this is also promoted in the wider community. Without further ado, the finalists for the first ever Betty Campbell MBE Award are Llanwern High School in Newport, Pembroke Dock Community School in Pembroke Dock, and Ysgol Penfordd in Penafordd. We'll see the videos. As a member of staff at another school, what was clear is that people voice is very important here at Llanwern. The school actually cares. They don't just put on a front and do all this stuff of diversity just to, to make a good name for themselves. They actually care about the students inside the school and they care about how the students feel inside the school. It deserves to be nominated because it embodies all that Betty Campbell stood for when it comes to value and diversity. Uh, the school has shown strong leadership in changing the curriculum or, or making sure that all teachers have an understanding of life in a diverse society and promote that in the classrooms with the students. When everyone else starts to learn more about your background and your culture, it, it, it's a lot easier to feel safe and like this is where you're meant to be.
Pembroke Dock Community School is a really forward-thinking school and um, they're thinking about what my children need not just now but also in their future. We really wanted the children to be able to tackle racism in their own communities and to also have those discussions with parents at home. And school are encouraging them to see the inequality and what's wrong in our world and to want to put that right. We want our children to leave here as that rounded individual. I think it's sort of important since everybody is different and we need to understand all of that. The school is not just putting the, the diversity statement down as part of a policy, it, it really means it. My daughter comes home and talks about pe people that attend here that are from different cultures. The library has been set up with a beautiful display of books and the children have easy access to that all the time. These books helped us to understand what it's like being a refugee. Just put yourself in their shoes really, just learning about them and it makes you want to learn about more like countries as well. You know, they're so open-minded now. I think they could teach adults a thing or two actually <laughs> about making people feel welcome and safe. Now before announcing the winner, I would like to invite Professor Charlotte Williams onto the stage to join the Minister in presenting this award. <laughs> the winner has been recognised by judges for their whole school approach to the promotion of diversity. They have worked with great care to instill a culture that ensures all members of the school community feel a sense of belonging. And the winner is Llanwaren High School in Newport. Please make your way to the stage. I, I am shaking a little bit as well, but um, I just wanted to say I'm so, so pleased and proud to, to have the award for our school, but especially because it's about being an inclusive school and because it represents all the work that uh, I've done with my colleagues and, of course, with the pupils themselves. So thank you, everybody. Excellent. Congratulations indeed. I would like to invite Pembroke Dock Community School and Ascol Penafarth to come up for their awards and their photo taken with the Minister and Professor Williams, please. So can we have Pembroke Dock Community School first?
Congratulations. Thank you once again, Professor Williams. Um, now then, that is the end of the announcing category winners for today. I'd like to now hand over to our minister who's going to say a few words about this year's Special Recognition Award winner. Jeremy Miles. Well, uh, mine right again and red death. I um, I think of Lunar Wobber getting busy at a Benig Eleni. Uh, my Hunnan Wobber is in Cali, the Varney, and our discretion a goody dog. I in a Golin, I in a Golion, see the wedding night, Cavraniad, Arithral, at Avisk, either square and Hummery. Good night, uh, in a Golin, Hun Cavraniad, I three adol, and a wedding dross Avisk, Gamraig. Doedd e ddim yn ddyn oedd yn edrych am sylw neu gydnabyddiaeth, neu ffys, but fel byddai ei hun yn dweud, ond rwy'n credu y byddai i ffrindiau i gydweithwyr a'i gyfoedion yn cytuno bod Gareth Pies a fi farw y llynedd yn enillydd teilwng o'r wobr cydnabyddiaeth arbennig. Fel pridwyth... Fel pryd beth ffurio'r cybac am 14 mlynedd, cadairydd y coleg Cymraeg Cenedlaethol, Athro, Ystadegydd, gwnaeth gareth gyfraniad enfawr at addysg a bywyd cyhoeddus yng Nghymru. Ac mae'r wobr hon yn cydnabod y cyfraniad hwnnw yn enwedig i addysg Gymraeg. Mae cybac a'r coleg Cymraeg Cenedlaethol yn enwedig yn teimlo y byddai'n dyst i waith diflino gareth i gefnogi dysgwyr o bob cwr o Gymru drwy gydol i yrfa. I'm privileged to present the Special Recognition Award this year in memory of Gareth Pierce, who made such a contribution to education, in particular Welsh language education, to civic life and to supporting learners in Wales. In the words of Ian Morgan, WJC, Gareth had an enthusiasm for nurturing and educating contemporary Wales through the medium of Welsh. His extraordinary influence has had a lasting impact on the Welsh education landscape, and this award would be a testament to his legacy. We are privileged that Linwen, Gareth's wife, and Elined, his sister, have been able to join us today to accept the award. Diolch yn fawr iawn i chi, am y cyfle yma i ddathlu cyfraniad, dyn arbennig i addysg ac i Gymru. Mae'n fraint ac yn rydedd i ni, um, y chwaer yng Nghyfraeth, Lyned a Mynau, i gynrychioli te, uh, teulu Gareth i dderbyn y wobr arbennig hon. Hoffwn ni ddiolch i'r gwenidog am gyflwyno'r wobr fel cynnybyddiaeth o gyfraniad sylweddol Gareth i addysg yng Nghymru, a'i gyfraniad arbennig i hyrwyddo addysg Gymraeg a oedd yn holl bwysig iddo. Er ein tristwch anhyraeth amdano, Rydym fel teulu yn cael ein cysuro wrth erbyn ei chalioni a'ch gwerthorogiad o'r hyn a gyflawnodd Gareth yn ystod ei yrfa yn y maes addysg. A dwi eisiau gorffen ar nodyn positif, achos i'r rhai o chi oedd yn cydweithio ac yn um, nabod Gareth roedd yn berson positif. Ac mae'n bleser um, i fi i weld uh, i longyfarch pob un ohonoch chi sydd wedi cael ei chynwebu ar gyfer y gwobrau yma heddiw. Gwaith anhygol chi'n neud, roedd Gareth yn edrych, bob amser yn edrych i'r dyfodol ac eisiau gwella pethau um, yn y maes addysg ac uh, uh, mwyn rhoi gorau 
um, i'r plant ni yng Nghymru sy'n heiddi'r gorau, wrth gwrs. A llongyfarchiadau chi, a phob dymuniad da i chi, wrth i chi barhau a'ch gwaith arbennig uh, yn y rhyfodol. Diolch o galon. Diolch yn fawr iawn. Um, Mae y wir mor ysbrydoledig uh, cael sefyll yn, yn, yn fan hyn, yn eich mysg chi. Diolch unwaith eto i'r gwnitog, a mae wasanaeth o heddiw. Um, it's so inspiring to be, to be stood here um, amongst you. And I think I can speak for everyone in this room when I say I've been inspired uh, by, the, by the impact every finalist, finalist is clearly having on the individuals, communities and schools. The comments from colleagues, pupils and parents captured in the videos demonstrate what fantastic, dedicated professionals you all are. The room is filled with amazing role models, inspirational leaders, innovative thinkers and creative minds that are making sure the educational landscape of Wales maintains as high standard as possible. So huge congratulations to all our finalists and, of course, our winners. I would ask you now, lunch will be served very soon. I'm hungry, I know you are. Um, but I would ask you now, can all the winners now make their way out of the hall where you'll be taken outside for a group photo by Kate over here? Um, and I think that would give us a chance actually to show our appreciation, our recognition once again. As our winners make, make their way out, could we all stand and applaud them, please? Thank you very much. While they're away, let's tuck in. No, the food will be <laughs> the food will be served very shortly. And I'll speak to you after the lunch.